Welcome to day two of our Advent devotional series. Today we look at the name I am found in John chapter 8. I am. Two little words that we must use hundreds of times a day. They're words that we almost gloss over waiting to hear what follows them to give us more information about who someone is or what they're doing. I am Liz. I am mum to three boys. I am freezing cold. And we'll see over the next few weeks that Jesus used these two words to introduce a number of the names that he used for himself. I am the light of the world. I am the good shepherd. But the name we're considering today is not one of the names that comes after the I am. It is the I am itself. John chapter 8 verse 58 says, Very truly I tell you, Jesus answered, before Abraham was born, I am. And as you read through John chapter 8, you see Jesus being questioned by the Jews who just won't believe what he says about who he was. They twist his words, they argue back against everything he says. And at the end of this lengthy debate, when Jesus says that Abraham knew all about him, they mock him even further. But at this point, Jesus says, very truly, I tell you. And it's a declaration that Jewish ears would recognise as coming before something really solemn that had to be listened to. And so we know too that what he's about to say is really important and worth listening to as well. And this is what he says, before Abraham was born, I am. It almost sounds a bit odd, doesn't it? I guess if he was just wanting to show that he'd existed before Abraham, it would have been more normal to say, before Abraham was born, I was. Like I might say, before my children were born, I was. I existed before they did. But he doesn't say I was, he says I am. So it's a phrase that shows not just that he exists or that he existed way before Abraham, but that he has always existed, that he is eternal. And when he says these words, I am, however much the Jews had been arguing or blinded up until this point, this is where their words stop. Because any Jew hearing Jesus say, I am, knew exactly what he was saying. They knew exactly what he was claiming because the only one who had ever used that phrase to describe themselves was God himself. And so instantly, as Jesus said, I am, their minds would have gone right back to the time when Moses encountered God at the burning bush because these were exactly the same words that God had used when he declared his name to Moses. I am who I am. It's an incredible phrase. It quite simply means that God is. He exists eternally. He has always been, he is now, and he always will be. He is, I am. And that's why the Jews stop arguing and instead pick up stones to stone Jesus, which was the punishment for blasphemy, because they knew that he was claiming to be God himself. And they were horrified. And the tragedy for them is that although their response was wrong, they had in fact reached the right conclusion because all the evidence of the Gospels points to the fact that Jesus really was the eternal I am, God made flesh, God come among us. And so for us today, let's just rejoice again this Advent that the one who the whole thing is anticipating, the one who will come as a baby is I am, is the eternal God. Perhaps if it's not too early in December for a carol, then have a listen to Hark the Herald Angels Sing and praise God for that line that says, Veiled in flesh, the Godhead see. What an incredible truth. What a thing to rejoice over today that the eternal God has stepped into this world, stepped into human skin, become like one of us so that he could show us what God is like and so that we could see him and we could know him. His name is Jesus. I am. We hope you enjoyed today's devotional. Tune in tomorrow for more in our Advent series.